Thank you, Margie. We are talking before and after this morning with NGNS North Grand Neighborhood Services. And take a look. On your left is what it started as, and on your right is what it is now. They do remarkable work for underrepresented areas in the city, specifically North City and over there off Grand. Doing a nice job. Joining us this morning is Joseph Feld, one of the many architects we could call you behind this, also <laughs> volunteers. Joseph, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks, Ty, for having me we on. Are, we are glad to have you. Now, where specifically is the home that we just showed our viewers right So now? the home that um, is on television mm -hmm. is at 2423 Fall Avenue, okay. which is um, about a mile north of the Fox Theater on Grand. And when did you guys decide to take over that home and start rebuilding it? So we acquired that home in January of 2022. Mm -hmm. It's been empty, abandoned, a neighborhood eyesore for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. So just the fact of starting to work on it has been a big step forward for the neighborhood. When did NGNS decide they wanted to do something like this? Because you guys are going over 15 years now. Exactly. We started back in 2005. Mm -hmm. And one of the big issues in this neighborhood was the high rate of vacant properties. Mm -hmm. So we started working with the residents trying to take that uh, rate of vacant properties down. And it started out over 40%. Now we have it down to around 5%. So that's been a big step forward for the neighborhood. Absolutely. You guys are being a part of the solution. This We're trying. We're trying. We're slow but consistent. Hey, consistency is vital. It is. And it's an interesting crew you guys have volunteering. I was able to help out a couple of times, but you guys have some retired teachers and students from local schools. We do. We do. We have about 10 to 15 uh, uh, adult volunteers who come down on, on, on a weekly basis. A number of them are retired high school teachers. In addition, part of our mission is working with area high school kids mm -hmm. to expose them to some of the challenges of life in North City, also give them some construction skills as well. So that's part of our mission as well. So it makes it fun. We have the older volunteers and, and, and the younger high school kids, so it keeps us on our toes. It gives the, the young kids a chance for some perspective, right? It does. It does. It kind of broadens their perspectives a little bit. So as we wrap up real quick here, Joseph, let's bring these pictures back up. This house is going to be going for sale when and what's happening Saturday? So on Saturday, we're going to have an open house for our volunteers and donors mm -hmm. so they can see how their money's being used mm -hmm. and show off some of their time and effort. Um, we hope to have the house up for sale by end of May. Mm -hmm. And then we have another project lined up. It's another long vacant LRA property, and we will quickly shift over and start working on that house as well. Well, can I invite myself to help you guys out with this one? Certainly, Ty. Anytime, <laughs> uh, come on down. All right, Joseph, thank you for joining us this morning, and thank, thank you for you your hard work. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ty. Find this full interview on foxynow.com. We're back with more Fox News at 8 after the break.